everyone, welcome to another Energy YouTube workout. Today we're doing a mask physique dumbbell workout. As you can see, I have a bit of a new setup. I have this chalk wallpaper now, so I can write down the workouts, which is pretty cool. And next time I'll write it a little bit bigger. But today we're gonna go through some chest press, chest fly, rows, shoulder presses, lateral raises, pullovers, reverse flies, and a little bit of core inchworm work at the end. We're gonna be doing 12 reps per exercise. I'm gonna go through the circuit once. If you wanna go through the circuit once, twice, three times, four times, as many times as you like, go for it. Um, but yes, all you should need is dumbbells, your space, your mat, play your own music as always, and you can pause, rewind me, do whatever you need to do. But really happy that you're joining me for this workout, and let's get started. All right, let's go dumbbell max physique workout. We're gonna start with our first exercise, a floor chest press. So you can grab your weights. Also with it being more of a circuit style, moving from one exercise into the next, you'll likely need lighter weights than what you normally use, but always make it challenging. So choose your dumbbells, and if you need anything lighter, grab some filled water bottles, some soup cans, anything like that that you can use for weight especially for the reverse flies. All right, so grabbing our dumbbells, we're gonna lean right on our back, elbows out to the side, you can be on a little bit of an angle, whatever's comfortable for your shoulders, and we're gonna begin in three, two, one, punching the ceiling, breathing out, slowly lower back down, back up for two. We're doing 12 reps, three. Keeping the weights over our chest, Four, squeezing that chest when we press, five, six, good work, seven, you can go faster on the way up, slower on the way down, eight, that's when we're getting a lot more of those micro tears on the eccentric, on the way down, nine, ten, two more. 11, last one, and 12. Good job, bring them down to your sides, and we can roll up. Next, we're gonna be doing a chest fly. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter for this exercise. Grab my dumbbells, fly back, and if it feels more comfortable for you, you can also bend your knees instead of having a straight flat back. So you can just bend them the soles of the feet on the floor. So now we're moving into flies, big hugs, going out to the side, breathing in, and breathing out is bring them back together. Breathing in, slight bend in the elbow, two. Keeping the dumbbells over the chest, three. Really squeeze when you bring them back together, four. Again, that stretch, we go out to the side, Five. Awesome job. Six, keep breathing. Seven. Great work. Eight. Four to go. Nine. Ten. Two left. Eleven. One more big hug. Squeeze that chest, and 12. You can slowly bring them down to your sides. And now we're moving into a single arm row. So we're gonna do it from the floor. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier with this exercise. Actually, let's stay standing. That way we engage a little bit more of our core. You can place your one hand on your hip. Try to keep our chest up and our back nice and straight, and we're breathing out as we pull it in to our side and bring back down to keep that chest up, those shoulders back, three, good squeeze of the shoulder blade, four, we're doing 12 per side, five, six, nice squeeze, seven, 
awesome job. Nine. Ten. Eleven. One more. And twelve. Now we're going to switch sides. Same thing. Other foot out in front. Help it balance a little bit. Here we go. One. Pulling the dumbbell back towards our hip. Two. Three. Get a good squeeze. That shoulder blade. Four. Five. Nice and slow. Six. Seven. Eight. Great work. Nine. Ten. Two to go. Eleven. And twelve. Great job. Okay, now we're doing a dual or double row. So we're going to grab two weights. I want to go a little bit lighter than the single arm row. We're going to be doing it standing. So bent over, hip hinge. Feet can be a little bit closer if that's more comfortable. Chest is up, shoulders back, back straight. Pulling, dumbbells back towards our hips. Now we're doing both at the same time. Three. Four, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Five. Six. Seven, squeeze our core. Eight. Nine. Awesome. Ten. Eleven. One more. And twelve. Done. Okay, now we're moving on to a shoulder press. So you can adjust your weights if you need to. Otherwise, let's get right into it. 12 reps, arms up by our sides, shoulder width apart, nice and sturdy. Breathing out as we press slow on the way down. Two. Three. Four. Nice job. Five. Keep you on a slight angle, six. If that's more comfortable for your shoulders, seven. Squeezing our core, eight, nine, three to go, ten. Try not to let the ribs flare with the press, eleven, and twelve. All right, now we're moving into lateral raises. 12 reps, gonna go a little lighter for these. Smaller muscles can usually handle a little less weight than the bigger ones. Okay, so we're trying to bring our pinkies up to the sides, lift those shoulders, breathe out, one. Keep that chest up, two, three, We'll bend in the elbow, four, five, six. Try not to rest on the legs. Keep them within that window, seven, eight. Keep the muscles working, nine, ten, eleven. One more, and twelve. Done. Okay. Next, we're doing pullovers. So I'm gonna use one dumbbell. We're gonna be in a decline glute bridge. So I'm gonna grab this one here, the lie back, soles of feet on the floor. Then we're gonna go up in a glute bridge. Just gonna raise our hips nice and high. And then we're gonna do a pullover. So we're gonna go over our head. You can just barely touch the floor and bring it back to the eye level, and then go back down. Two, keep those hips nice and high. Three, four, five, nice job. Six, seven, 
seven, feeling those lats. Eight. Feel that chest stretch. Nine. Keep those hips up. Ten. Eleven. One more. And twelve. Good job. Okay, and now we're moving on to the reverse fly. So I'm going to grab my lighter weights. You could also do no weight if that's preferable to you. We don't need very much for this exercise. Hip hinged, arms out in front, put a little bend in the elbow, and we're reaching backwards, trying to breathe out and squeeze little shoulder blades. That's two, three, four, squeeze those shoulder blades together, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, try to slow it down. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Good job. Okay, we're gonna set those down. Great work so far. We have one exercise left, and then we're going to wrap it up. So we're going to inchworm, so we're going to be standing, walk out to our inchworm. We're going to reach up with one leg, and we're going to rotate the upper body to reach towards the ceiling, put the foot back, and return, and then do the other side. So that's, we'll say this is one here. Push back. So that's one. Walking out, two, reach, try to use your core, slow it down, leg, leg, leg up nice and high, reach, we're doing 12 total for this one, so six on each side, four, work. This one's more about endurance. Six. Halfway. Lots of shoulders, lots of upper body. Full body actually. Seven. Doing awesome. Keep going. Eight. Great work, keep pushing. 10, feel looser with every rotation. challenging for you and hope you enjoy this workout. Thanks for showing up and working on your mask physique with me. Make sure to check out my other videos. Please share, tell your friends, fam, everyone. I appreciate it and the more videos that I'll make. And as always, check out Gymshark, new studio shorts, green tank. I love this color. It's like my favorite color that they make, the olive green. And yeah, thanks for showing up. I'll see you next time. See ya.